And they brought the ass and the colt and laid their garments upon them and made him sit thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. And others cut branches from the trees and stewed, strewed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. That is the words from the gospel of St. Matthew in connection with the Palm Sunday procession. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In the Old Testament, Jerusalem was known as the city of God. It was a holy city, a city where the wondrous temple of the Most High God was located. People went up multiple times each year from all over the Holy Land to that temple. And they did that to fulfill their religious duties. Our dearest Lord was brought to the temple at 40 days old in what we call the mystery of the presentation. He was lost and found in the temple at the age of 12 years old. And he spent much of his time in the temple throughout his short life on earth, seeking to bring to his brothers the fullness of revelation, the perfection of revelation through his holy gospel. Now it's interesting that Jerusalem has been conquered numerous times. In fact, of all the cities on earth, Jerusalem has been one of the most attacked and conquered of all. Jerusalem has been assaulted some 52 times. It has been captured and recaptured some 44 times. It's been besieged with rams and bulwarks and 23 times. It's been completely destroyed twice. But the most peaceful conquest of all occurred on this very day on Palm Sunday some 2,000 years ago, when our dearest Savior, King of the Jews and Emperor over all creation, came into the holy city, seated upon a little donkey colt. As the inerrant scriptures record, quote, Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. Behold, your King is coming to you. A just Savior is he, humble, and riding on a donkey on a colt, the foal of a donkey, unquote. Prophecy fulfilled. Again, he comes without battering rams or siege equipment. He enters without any weapons of war. Yet he comes as a conqueror over his people. And his disciples, as well as his onlookers and admirers, hail him as conqueror as son of David and king of kings and lord of lords. And he comes upon a little donkey colt, an animal that has never been ridden before. First time it's ever been ridden. And yet this little colt does not buck in any way or resist its divine rider. But there is also, according to St. Matthew, a female mother donkey present the mother of that colt that walks alongside our dearest Lord as he enters into God's city. The church fathers tell us that that mother donkey, the mother of the colt, represents Eve, the mother of all the living, mentioned in the inerrant book of Genesis in the Garden of Eden. While that little colt, that little donkey, represents the Gentiles, the nations, the pagans, those who do not know God. But our Lord is bringing the Gentiles into God's people, into the city of God, into Jerusalem, to join the Jews as they praise Christ their King. And yet here is the sad part. Most of these same voices today that cried out, Hosanna to the Son of David, And hail, King of Israel. Those same voices, many of them, would eventually cry out, crucify him. Give us Barabbas. And we have no king but Caesar. 
What an apostasy in a matter of days. Those same people that would wave palms and place their garments before the Lord would cheer on those who would scourge our Lord and strip him of his garments. Jerusalem would, by and large, reject the time of its visitation. Having been conquered by Christ on Palm Sunday, Jerusalem would apostatize, by and large, and would be reconquered by Satan because they would demand the death of Christ before Pilate. But Jerusalem is not just an image of God's holy city. The city is also an image of every soul of every man. Because at holy baptism, our Lord comes into the soul as he came into Jerusalem as a loving and gentle conqueror. He brings the victory of his cross. He brings the mysteries of his passion, death, burial, and resurrection with him into the soul of that man that he has conquered. He brings his divine life with him, sanctifying grace. And he shares with that man who is baptized the spoils of his victory over sin, Satan, and death. And yet, how many of us have allowed our souls to be reconquered by Satan through mortal sin? How many of us have seen Jerusalem, the Jerusalem of our soul, be attacked, besieged, conquered, and completely destroyed even multiple times, perhaps far more times than the historical city of Jerusalem? How many Palm Sundays have become Good Fridays for us as the Savior is rejected and crucified in the heart of the sinner. Let us live this Holy Week like no other Holy Week in our whole life. Having seen our Lord enter as a conqueror into our souls, let us never cause him to leave again through serious sin. Let us defend the Jerusalem of our soul with every ounce of our energies. Call upon Christ, our King, to conquer us more and more, take more territory, every inch of us, so that we will never again lose him through grave sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.